Hello and welcome to the PM Show, your weekly roundup of what's new and going on in the PM world. How are we doing this morning, gentlemen? We all good? Fine, thank you very much. Well, we Better are now. Than you. <laughs> Better than me. To be honest, we have got a few technical issues, so if this looks rubbish or sounds rubbish, that's the reason why. I'm recording this technically on three cameras. So whichever one works will be the one that you'll see. <laughs> but then I've got to try and tie the audio to it. So this could be horrendous. If it is, I do apologise. We had a big update on a certain bit of software, which is crap. It's killed my entire system. We've had nothing but trouble with it. We had no sound. We've had problems with the audio. Li live show yesterday, you would see me had horrendous lag. It was just a nightmare from start to finish. Apart from that, everything's system. wonderful. Uh, gremlins in the system, isn't there? Definitely got gremlins in the system, and I need to iron this out before tomorrow night's live show. And obviously, we need it for the weekend as well. So <laughs> that's my evening sorted. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Right. Anyway, apart from that, how are we doing? How's things over at PM Towers? Is it all good? Yes. Yeah. Lots of new exciting things coming down the line. No. No. <laughs> well, we've got some. Um, <laughs> we've had quite a few pre-orders in that have mainly gone out a few still to pay mm -hmm. please pay please pay um and we've got a another pre-order due in today tomorrow 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 tomorrow, for, tomorrow, tomorrow what day wednesday tomorrow friday i think yeah probably tomorrow mm -hmm. um yeah that's due in and we've got some stock deliveries coming as well haven't we so it has been busy so far yes very very good excellent nice including that little lump you've got in front of you yes yeah Interesting uh, kit, I think. Yes, yeah, so what is it? Super Meister. The Super Mystery. Oh, yeah, a Mystier. <laughs> to do it in your first, best a French nice accent. Deer. Very nice. So, this is technically the, uh, we think, the special hobby kit. Ah, well, let me give you some knowledge. Some, uh, knowledge. some insight. Design well, and concept invented in France. Yes. Tooling and moulding made in the Czech Republic. Right. As it says on the side of the box. So are Froom a French company? Yes. Oh, sorry, it's Azor Inter. Froom Azor Inter, yeah. Froom yeah. Azor, or yeah. Azor From, or however you pronounce it. Yeah, it's a French company. So it's Azor From, special lobby. So I think, I think that's a special <laughs> lobby's done the done the yeah, tooling. Yeah, the, 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 the tooling and the moulding for it. It looks very yeah. nice in the box, I do have to say. I've had a sneaky peek in it. Uh, hmm. Yeah, again, it's quite a, I think it's quite a pretty looking aeroplane, to be honest. Yeah, well, the French stuff tends to be quite nice looking. Well, apart from some of their older stuff, which is more like wacky races. But yeah. <laughs> when they got in the jet era, things were yes. a little bit more shapely, shall we say. say? They're all quite sleek and stylish, aren't they? Yes, yes, very nice. They have nice schemes as well. So nice metal scheme with that, with the flashes of colour, because there's two yeah. options in that one, with the red and with the blue. There you go. There you go. Mm. So obviously, as well, there's going to be plenty of other versions of this. The Israelis used them, didn't they? And, um, Obviously, there'll be different French schemes, and I don't know how to use these, to be perfectly honest. I, put, uh, I did do my research, but, yeah, it's, uh, I'd say, it's nice, striking, Yeah, you know, box art as well. Quite a nice yeah. box art. And a sturdy box. Proper not a box. Flim not a flimsy box either. Quite a nice box. So, yes. Good set of instructions. Shall we have a look? Because I'm not going to send you one for review, so we might as well have a quick sneaky peek. Have a sneak in the box. Yeah. So, well, then we actually can't get in the box. Yeah. Wreck the box trying to get into it. I could I could do over an overhead like you, but I can't bother. So we've got a nice nice bag of styrene. Yes. Typical sort of a special lobby uh you know, bag full. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice set of decals. Very nice. I think you know, they're not bad. And instruction wise so quite a nice set of instructions to be honest. Obviously your parts count. Mm-hmm. And then, I'm not going to show you all of them, but there you go. That's kind of the layout of what you get. Just about, yeah. Do you see that? Is that better? Yeah. That's better, yeah. Yeah. So quite a nice breakdown, I think, if I had to do it. And then... It's even special hobby instructions. Yeah, the instructions, yeah. And then there's your... Markings? So you're nice and colourful with the blue or the red, isn't it? Yeah. Very yeah. nice. So what... what, what, what uh... 61. Mm -hmm. I don't want that, but I ain't got a thing on it. I don't think a date it just says where the uh... Bangkok mm. apparently. 
in March Fair. 61 and in in uh, May 61, I think. Fair enough. So there we go. So yeah, nice schemes in that. Very good. Oh, Andy's now nice dying. Oh, managed to um, mute myself. That was very good muting. Saves me having to do it. <laughs> so that's the new arrival anyway that we mentioned yesterday. The um, Unfortunately, where we advertised our sword lightnings, they all went overnight. Yes, so we'll yes, be definitely. So we'll have a new stock of those soon. Uh, unfortunately, they literally all flew out, uh, and I still haven't got my two-seater, so I still put my name down for another two-seater, please. Yes, uh, okay. But yes, those have gone straight away. Uh, but yeah, if you do fancy them, usual things we say, pop your email address in. It gives us an idea of how many you guys want, and we can get them in accordingly. Yeah. So uh, pop your name down in there, and we can go with that. But hopefully we'll be able to get a few more of those. But I must admit, I quite fancy doing the old two-seat to go along with my one as well. So I've got the single seat, do it in the two-seat as well. The same, as long as we remember to click the... Yeah. As long as we remember to click the right button, it'll tell you, it'll email you when it's back in stock. So. Yes. Yeah. Um, but new, new arrivals wise, we're all waiting for something to come in, like say tomorrow, which is a pre order, mm-hmm. which is a great wall lobby's F14B. Yes. That's their version of the Tomcat. Which I'll get one hate. of those down and we'll do a review of that. Yeah, so it'd be send, nice to see what that one, one looks like. Um, and then we've just got stock coming in, like say, but a big Tamiya stock come mm-hmm. in. Yep. Uh, we do a another big stock, hopefully by the end of the week, and we do an Eddard one. So the one that I'm not going to mention, we'll mention on Saturday. Right, that's okay. quite a big announcement for us, isn't it? Yes, so, yes. Huge announcement coming Saturday morning, 10 o'clock. Yes, as long as it's here on time. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers <laughs> crossed. Come on. Yes. Um, so, yeah, that's it, really. Just, you know, usual stuff ticking over this week. Mm, very nice. Uh, mm. See, down here, we've got the, the old Avengers in two flavours. These are the sword ones as well. Yeah. Yes, as well, so you've got both of those ones down in there in the nice 70 second scale one. Yeah, so and that's like the uh, the special price that they are. The yes. normal would be more expensive than that, but we, you know, we're getting them, it's kind of end of line, so we're just sticking them out. It, but we 30% uh, off all this, something like that, something like that anyway. Yeah, yeah it's, it's quite price. a good discount on them for what it is. So, again, I think it's sold. Obviously, they do runs of stuff and then they retire that and you know, either bring back stuff that they've uh they've um, released before or new mold stuff so i think that one is coming to the end of its its line so if you want one of those grab them while they're cheap fair enough uh there you go that's the uh the mystere uh is down in there as well fw119 as well down in there and obviously we've got on a little bit of extra discount down in there on the ah1 uh Takum. Mm. Apache, which they're yep. bringing out another version now. I did see the other day. It's like, crikey, you certainly get your mileage out of that one, isn't it? What yeah. version is this? I can't remember what it was now, but there's another version they've just got coming down the line of it. Wow. Some, some of them were other, but yeah, there's another version coming down. I can't remember which one it was, only because I saw the press release thing for it, and I was like, wow, I didn't think there's that many different versions. I so, think we've got the main one coming next month. Absolutely, the main one's due next month as well. So, yeah, be yeah. interesting to see that one. Do a, a direct comparison between both kits would be interesting. Yeah, not be short of Apaches, are we, in 35th? No, again, as you say, we haven't seen an Apache pretty much, well, 48 scale Hasegawa was your only real one in time, yeah. wasn't it? I meant nothing, and now all of a sudden, flooded with them, got them coming oh, out yeah. of our ears. So, uh, but yeah, some nice bits and pieces down in there. If you want to grab any of those new ones, and say some of it does go very, very quickly, so grab it whilst you can. All right. Uh, over in the special section, again. Yeah. Changing all the time, said before, we've got the scimitar. Uh, we've got is that a, Delph- a delphine? A delphine, the 35th delphine. The 35th delphine. Uh, we've got some Shermans. So take your pick of the Sherman ones here Rifield, Rubicon, or Dragon. There you go. Slightly different scales, obviously. Uh, but uh, you can do those ones as well. Uh, the very nice uh, Avenger, which is obviously the uh, accurate miniatures kit. Yep. As well, very nice one down in there. Uh, another version as well, 48 scale, the uh, F51D. So um, that's quite nice. I can't help but feel that the box art is very reminiscent of another one they did. Uh, for what? The, the Typhoon 24 Typhoon? scale was very similar to that yeah, sort of yeah. box art, wasn't it? It clearly also, was different, but yeah. obviously yeah. took its inspiration from it. It is a good a view of it and all the rest of it. So, uh, but yeah, quite nice as well. Some, uh, well, the T34s getting some hate. Yeah, looks so, like it. 
So yes, very nice. So if you do want a uh, Korean War, wasn't it the uh, F fifty ones? Yeah. Uh, when they changed the designation from the P to a, a fighter. Uh, so yes, you've got that one there. Twenty three pounds. Nice little kit. Nice colourful options. And I noticed down in here you get the Swedish one. There you go. There you go. It's quite Pretty nice. With the Swedish crowns on there. Very nice indeed. Yeah. Um, so yes, very nice. And the usual other bits and pieces we've got down in here in the special section. Remember, when they go, they go. And then obviously we'll get them back um, at full price normally after this. So yeah. if they come back at all, you never know. Mm. <laughs> they'll be retired. They could be retired and replaced by other things. So, uh, But keep an eye out for that one down in there as well. And then obviously damage box section, again, pretty much as it was before but you say it's updated when we get bits and pieces in but as you say if you fancy any of those ones and a lot of my uh review ones are in here as well so they're all fine i rebag them all and everything else like that so there you go you've got the uh f35 that i did the review obviously we've got the uh, sky crane as well and the Qataris spitfire the cotswolds uh cotswolds cotsworth um sierra down there as well which i always did as reviews and again a few of the other ones might have some nicks dings and corners crushed Bit, but nothing that will damage your kit inside so yep. you'll be fine with all of those right okay over to pre-orders our first big news of the day we just opened literally minutes ago the pre-order for the upcoming 24th scale stuka from fx another classic to i can vouch classics yeah classics and john's been building that as well hasn't he? he has he started it he, he's been doing it a while. Mm. <laughs> Does he do the bit where he opens up the box and goes, hmm? Okay, yeah. Well, I think he, he had the timeline of getting the 48th one mm -hmm. built, so he's like transferred onto that one and to, to get the 48th stuka yeah. done. Oh. Well, he's got to get it done for time for Telford. No, he just needs, just needs to get it done. He's, he's building it for somebody. Oh, yeah. right. Okay. So, um, but yes. Very nice. So if you do fancy getting your hands on one of those classic kits, um, as far as we know, nothing's been upgraded on the kit, has it? It's just a straightforward re-release yeah. uh, of that particular one. So if you do fancy that one, we've got it up there at just £86.99. Pre-order is open now. Members, if you want to stick your name down for it, as clearly Richard did, because he kept on asking us every single day when it's going to be available. He now knows. It's pretty it is. It's now <laughs> it's the, and that original box as well. And it is the original boxing. So does this mean that it would be like the ones on the shelf when you was a kid? It would be that one box on the top because you couldn't display it normally. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We did say there's something missing off it then, off the box art. There is. There is certain markings off the tail, not on the original. So if you want to see the difference between the original kit and this one, there's a certain marking on the back mm. that's been removed yes. from history. So, uh, but yes, very nice indeed. So if you do fancy a little bit of a classic, I can wholeheartedly recommend them. They are fun, challenging, let's just simply say challenging. But actually, when you do beat them down, this is the 50-year-old Harrier from Airfix. Um, actually, it turns out really, really nicely. So it's uh, one of those ones. It's a little bit, sometimes there's nostalgia. A lot of this built these as kids, put them together in an afternoon, set fire to them by tea time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and things but it, sometimes it's really nice to go back and you know have another go at it as an adult and hopefully your skills might have improved a little bit as well and that way it won't be too much of a bad kit but generally it's really nice to see that one your only other option of course is the trumpeter do one trumpeter do one yeah but mm. i think there's dimensional issues with that one i don't know mm. about the earlier one but definitely when because they've done all versions mm. apparently the um the later versions have got a longer spine right but it seems to be missing or it's too long and it should be shorter. I can't remember which one, one it is. Yeah. I think um, John will know. We'll ask him tomorrow. But there's a, there's definitely a difference. It either needs extending or it needs shortening. I can't remember which it is. But it looks very odd once you notice it. It's one of them things. Yeah. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. So um, it's, it's probably very similar to when you do the, uh, is it the Hobby Boss Sea Vixen? Oh, the booms. Because the booms are too short yeah. on it. Oh, the and again, just, yeah, the if you see it, it, it's like, you, if you've just got it here, it looks fine until you put the Airfix one next to it and then it's mm -hmm. very noticeable. Yeah. And then once you've noticed it, it's very hard to get off of it because yeah. you know full well what the problem is. But until you're actually pointed out, you probably wouldn't realise it. But yeah, the booms on it are, are wrong length. So, uh, but you say when you put it next to the Airfix one, there's quite a difference in it. So, but again, obviously some dimensional issues, strong dimensions <laughs> yeah <laughs> so uh but no really nice kit and it's safe and nostalgia 
it's one of those i think you'll have a lot of fun building that kit mm. um do 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 sunderland we've done oh was it this one what one? Oh no this is the main one i know what it is now i've just remembered what the other one is and i want to take away from this so this i'll tell you in a minute this is the meng um h64d apache mm. Uh, obviously up on pre-order as well so some nice nice details on this right the way through it will be interesting to see how it stacks up clearly against the um Tacom one uh because Tacom are really on a roll getting theirs all out but as far as we were aware this one was mentioned before the Tacom one and then Tacom come along and got those out a hell of a lot quicker yeah so uh but yeah looks very very nice indeed although I think, i'm pretty, to be fair, I'm pretty sure go on Either, either whichever one you build you can have a nice representation oh, yeah. aren't you i think yeah. that's the thing i think there's not going to be a lot between them as in when they're built mm -hmm. um so i think you just pay money and take your choice and take i'm pretty sure though the actual wind director things here uh, that's the wrong way around it should be the other way around now you're just, now you're just being picky i'm being picky now it's uh, you when you spend too much time around apaches that's what the trouble is but that's around the wrong way so i'm wondering if the instructions are going to say that way it should be the other way it's the uh so it's the weapons can do for wind effect and stuff is for it the rockets and stuff yeah so i have no idea <laughs> no at all yeah no. <laughs> But so right. you when you get geeky in with Apaches, it's one of those things. It's a bit like this bit up here underneath the radar dome is the, the laser detector uh, and stuff like that. And you can get proper geeky with them because there's so many little subtleties between them, uh, you know, and it, it's one of those when you know, you know. But if you don't, you would never know. But So you're yes. going to tackle one? I am going to tackle one. To be honest, I have got the tackle one here and I've got the Echo, the, uh, the, uh, the Guardian one, if you like, which is obviously the new one with the British army as well um obviously it's just replacing our older longbows um and i must admit I, i'm probably going to have a go at that one because i've got it here but i get asked a lot of people say to me what which which do you think's best well obviously i can't say on the main one because i haven't seen it but honestly the tacker one is really nice and the main one looks really nice i don't think there's going to be much between it looking at details and things like that they both look absolutely beautiful but i have heard i've had people ask me are you going to hold off for the main one do you think that one's a better kit honestly i can't tell the difference between them i think it'd be really difficult to see and again i think once they're built up if you was just to like paint them and stick them on the desk and say which one's which it's gonna be very hard to know the difference so very very nice kits though it's Love really detail, nice to see though, isn't there? lovely detail right the way through and again Colour call-outs. We answer this question on every show we do, it seems. No, there's not many colour call-outs, but it's black, helo drab, and that's about it. That's what they are. So <laughs> unless you're doing a foreign one where they're all different colours, some really nice schemes out there, but that's really all you need to know. So very nice anyway. So good, good ones on that one. Uh, that one's up at £76.49. So if you want to grab that, you can do. Which I think comes in a bit cheaper than the Tacom one. Mm, yes. Yes, just a little bit uh, less than that one. Mm. Uh, so, yes. So, the other one I was going to say, I've just remembered what it is. Tacom are releasing a late longbow. So, oh, we've done right. the early okay. version. That's what this new one coming out is. It's the late one. So, again, I don't know if they've changed the TDAC over, but it hasn't got the, the mask that you stick your head in. It's just a screen. I, you know, I think that's the difference between the early ones and the late ones. But that's what it is. This is a later longbow versus the early longbow, which they've got out at the moment uh so yes apart from that any others you want to talk about there's the um oh which is it the i've gone off the page now the the one bottom corner second row first post <laughs> uh what the warburton warburton yeah that was actually requested by somebody on uh emailed us they said can we get it right um, okay. it, it's a re-release it's a limited re-release as well so if you do need if you do want one Fair Which enough. surprising okay. number of people do. That's it. That's um, the old Martin Maryland, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, which they never actually used in the US. Mm. No. Apparently. Fair and enough. We, yeah, we, uh, but us and a few other countries when they used them. Mm -hmm. um, that one's one that was used in Malta, apparently, Fair the enough. box art. Um, yeah, so if you do want one, get your name down because it won't. There will be a limited numbers on that. So. Fair enough. Yeah. So I think down. this kit. And I've not uh, obviously scale mate at this is the classic airframes kit. Oh, I, I think I don't think it's special of his own. Over to Dictionary Corner, it will just quickly clarify that. Anyway, Warburton's War, what's that? Does he drop bread? That was the pile that flew oh, right. on 
in Malta, I believe. Oh, right. Then he went on successfully Bread Company, was it? <laughs> Probably completely, utterly wrong, but... <laughs> you know how many people you've just upset with that statement, Philip? Hovis is available as well. <laughs> Other bread manufacturers. <laughs> Other bread manufacturers are available. Corn scale, mates. It's a um, special of own kit. Oh, right. okay. okay. Re- first released in 2010. Well, that's it. Actually, I'll tell you what. Yes, I am wrong. I will admit it. I'm big enough to admit it. The <laughs> classic airframes kit was a Baltimore. Oh, and right. That's okay. a Maryland, isn't it? So, yeah. 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 Different, different aeroplane. So this one makes cookies as well as bread. Yeah. Did you tell I had my breakfast yet? No. <laughs> Actually, you're going to go and eat something. <laughs> so, yes. Anyway, something really nice. Again, a little bit special on that one. So uh, if you do want to grab that one, get your name down for it. ASAP. Mm. Like Adam has. So there you yes, go. get Adam's your name down. Ex- Adam's excited. Be he like is. Adam. Be like Adam. Yes. So uh, very nice down in there. Uh, a couple of things coming down the line, which shouldn't be too long. One will be that Mandalorian um, N1 Starfighter, isn't it? That, yeah, that's that's September, long. isn't it? October, I think it is. Is it, it? October or a little bit longer? Yeah. So, yeah, that's coming down quickly. And so, there's yeah. another one that's due, isn't there? What, a rotary thing? A I don't want. Thing. I didn't. Well, I thought you were going to say it. I didn't want to steal the limelight. No, no, no. You can have it because you obviously went and you know c- cahoots in cahoots with them and everything. You know. I wouldn't like to say, but yes, <laughs> sold my soul to Airfix. Yes, clearly. Uh, but yeah, no. The uh, Sea King. We're thinking around about two weeks. One less or, than. Well, one from now. Yeah. So yes. Literally a week. Yes, it should be a week. We are looking for hopefully two weeks. Yes, Uh, well, that's why I'm saying two weeks. I'm just edging my bets here because technically next week. Yeah, I'm open next. I'm open two weeks. (laughs) The reason for this is obviously Matt's on holiday next week, and we're going to leave it all in the capable hands of Andy. And it's quite a big pre-order, so um, poor old Andy and Lisa are going to be up to the next in Sea Kings. So, well, it would be lovely if they turn up Friday afternoon late. And then Matt can do it when he's back on Tuesday. <laughs> so, yes, it'll be fine. So, yeah, when do you fly? Are you flying Saturday or Monday? Monday. Yeah, see, I'd he leave hopes. it till Tuesday. He hopes. I'm calling it Monday. be fine, Andy. be fine. That courier, it'll be on the courier thing, yeah, delay that. Can you deliver it Tuesday morning? <laughs> it, was on the, it was on the news that the um, Grand Cruise were going on strike over bank holidays. So. Oh, that's it. Whether or not it's still happening, I don't he know. He might make it, but his luggage won't. I hope he wears his Speedos, <laughs> his budgie I'll, I'll smugglers be wearing, on. I'll be wearing it all like when you're doing Ryanair. Yeah, that's it. Just I'm wear everything on. For excess on. baggage. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Right, OK. So just on that note, we will say, obviously, Matt is on holiday next week, but PM Store is open as normal because Andy's in charge. So that's it. And so then obviously he'll be working Tuesday, with Lisa. Tuesday and Thursday, Andy's filling in an afternoon if he can stay awake. Because <laughs> that's, yeah. what, that's what Phil said. Yes. For the live shows. I've got my glamorous assistant. <laughs> You're being replaced. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm yeah, gonna, and I'm at some watch, point we'll get I'm Nathan in. i my sunbed and heckle. Yes, that's, he can heckle on the sunbed. <laughs> be like, be like what? the Muppets. Yeah, that's it. Rubbish, get them off. <laughs> <laughs> anyway uh so lots of bits and pieces down in there on the pre-orders members go and have a look around in there if you see it pop your name down and we can sort that out straight away right over to questions because i don't think we've got many because i'll clear the load out uh right first one's from glenn he's painting metal parts like photo etch uh and generally it's okay but gum barrels have always seemed to be a challenge keeping the paint on i've tried lightly sanding the surface and also mr hobby metal primer uh, but they are still easy to scratch. Is there something else I should be doing? No, it's the nature of the beast, I think, with them, yeah. I'm afraid. It is. It used to be the thing back in the day, wasn't it, with Hasegawa's plastic. A lot of people used to complain because it was so highly polished and slippy. You used to be able to scratch it because the paint finds it really difficult to adhere to it unless you're using enamels. But especially for acrylics and Vallejo, 
um, on Hasegawa kits because again it didn't used to go and we always used to say get a good coat of primer on it at first but metal is a totally different beast isn't it it's a bit like just generally photo etch as well if you're putting down photo etch panels and plates and things on there if you scratch it because it can't properly get into it it can't bite into it like it can into plastic so unfortunately it is a bit of nature of the beast I would say like you're doing is everything it's perfect lightly sanding it with a little bit of 800 paper just mm. to give it some grip and then as I say metal primers I've got it down there as well I've got that primer uh the Mr Hobby metal primer yeah. and it's supposed to be what was the other one that had as well what's called etching primer as well but to be honest they're never that good you're dealing with a rock hard slippery surface so again the usual things wash it sand it yeah. prime it go it doesn't try, say not, try not to touch it yeah yeah, yeah don't touch it. it doesn't say what paint he's using there does it hmm but again, I think it is nature. You know, metal barrels, it's just yeah. really hard to get a bite on it, isn't it? So The problem is, is they're, they're normally aluminium as well, aren't they? So that you, you're etching primers and things, or you're etching things that you'd use on photo etch. Yeah. Don't work as well, so don't work. So There's not a lot of surface area. That's the problem, is no. it? I think because they're cylindrical as well. Yeah. You yes. know, flatter surfaces are. Has Lola turned up? She has. Yeah, so everyone who doesn't know, Lola had a big operation yesterday. She was in anaesthetic for two hours, and now she's a methadone adi addict. So <laughs> she's been on methadone. A, so you know, yeah, give her a fix. A, quick. She needs her fix. She's coming in twitching. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah, she's all right. The swelling's gone down nicely. So and everything else. But you're not happy, chappy, are you, really, mate? You're all right. Every now and again, like then, we get a little bit of a squeak out of you. So you're all right. Happy. Yeah. That's it. That's like, take me back to that place yesterday. I'm going to rip your face off. Yeah, well, yes. this is it. <laughs> Every time she goes there, she used to love it because she used to get weighed, get a quick injection, which she never felt, and get a biscuit. Yeah. So she pulls to go in, but she doesn't pull to go in there tomorrow when she's back in for yeah, a post op checkup. Yeah, she's not going in there. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. she is fine though, everybody, and thank you for all the messages because a few of you messaged me last night as well about it. She's fine. Hey, she's fine. His wallet's not. Yeah, my wallet is definitely not fine. So we will be Saturday's show is going to be a, a telethon. Go okay, fund <laughs> to, to get, pay get, back get that. Quick, yeah. Jesus. Uh, right. Okay. Billy says uh, my rechargeable drill is on its last legs and following Phil's review about the display drill last week I took the plunge and bought one I have a few display items uh, and found them to be top class uh, so I thought I'd be a safe bet when the drill arrived I was delighted uh, and found uh, it to be up to display's normal standards then much to my display a uh, display dismay uh, I pulled out uh, the drill um, uh, in my current uh, project uh, and D Dispay's own drill bits don't fit. Uh, I measured these up against the shanks uh, and the shanks are 2.9 mil uh, on the drill and only 2.7 mil, uh, sorry, on the drill bits and then 2.7 mil on the shanks. Uh, I can tell how Dispay, uh, disappointed I am with Dispay and I'm sure that other modelers uh, buying the drill uh, will be for the same reason as me and be disappointed in the results. I accept that displays do not market the drill, uh, um, but let's be honest, most of us uh, would look upon such uh, an honestly thought that their own drill bits would fit it. Yeah. Anyway, I wanted to bring this to everyone's attention, blah, blah, blah. Right, okay, so it's a good point. I've got mine here. And to be honest with me, after I did the review, clearly, me and Andy did talk about this mm. because... It's an odd drill bit size that they actually have, and these don't actually have, and unfortunately I can't use my overhead camera today because of obvious reasons from earlier, um, but it doesn't have a chuck. It actually has two um, bolts, which just go in with an Allen key, which actually hold the part in place, which works really, really well. But you are correct. Their own stuff, because this is their own bits fit it, but other people's, including their own older range, don't fit down in here. So Andy was very professional with his and drilled it out. All I use is with the with it, you get its own grinding bit. Yeah. And all I did was basically put it in the hole, mm -hmm. grinding bit first. Yeah. And then just use the uh, obviously pull the, the set screws out so they're not you're not grinding the set screws down. Yeah. And just basically put it in and then used it itself and just um 
grants out a little bit so it does then fit all the drill but all the drill bits because the ones i was having troubles with are the um cheap pcb ones that you can buy mm -hmm. uh, the these things they didn't fit so um so i just drilled it out and they're now but it would do if it, if it did the set screws but it doesn't they do now yeah yeah so there we go. That's a quick fix to it. But again, it's one of those things. Obviously, they've done it to a size that fits all of their stuff. And now they've decided that, well, to change it. What's, just, what's wrong with just having like a normal adjustable, normal chuck? Well, they've obviously done it because of the sizing of this end bit. Because no. say, it's not like a chuck on the end. It's just a... You don't have the problem with them, do you? No, you don't. No, it's very true. You no. don't. But... I don't understand it. No. I'm afraid. I think it's a bit short sightedness from the company, as in, you know, uh, not putting a proper chuck in where you can just adjust it to drill bits to whoever they are. It does yeah. say on the actual thing it's got a three millimeter shank, so mm. two point yeah. nine should fit in it. You would have thought so. Yeah, you absolutely. Should, yeah, but you shouldn't be having to bore it out to fit other, you know, other shanks. Mm. <laughs> no. Yes. I, don't this, I don't know where this conversation is going, so let's just move on quick. Hmm. But, um, yeah, anyway, it is a bit of a weird one, but you should say you can do it and all the rest of it. But their stuff all fits it, all their new stuff, because I've got all their grinding or carving bits down in here, they all fit it, no problem at all. And some of my other stuff, which is a cheaper version of Dremel, they all fit it all, but genuine Dremel stuff doesn't. So you do have to drill it out a bit. Mm. So not brilliant idea, but hey. Never mind. I suppose right. if it has to keep you from buying their stuff itself for them, isn't it? That's the way mm. they're looking at it. But I very mm. much doubt that they've actually designed it and had it to fit. Mm. I think it's just like you. Know. Yeah. Mm. Yes, I know what you mean, Andy. I know where you're coming from. Yeah. Fair enough. Right. Okay, then, guys, we will leave it right there. Um, remember, you get all your bits and pieces over at the PM store, over at pmmodelsuk.com. Uh, also, don't forget, we are live with you Saturday morning at 10 a.m. So if you want to come along and join us for that, that would be absolutely lovely as well. I have everybody on board with that. So, yes. So I'm now going to go off and fight with a camera <laughs> and download yeah. other systems and things and try and get all this working and everything for tomorrow night's members show and obviously back with you on Saturday live. If not, I'll be doing this on a webcam still. So, <laughs> Andy, Andy, hey, Andy's going to be fighting fighting with a flat coat, and I'm going to be fighting with a 3D printer. So we're all going to have an exciting morning, aren't That's we? That's it. Yes. Very nice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Right. Okay, then, guys, we will leave it right there. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Happy modelling. Take care. We'll see you all again very soon. Say goodbye, gentlemen. Bye. Bye. Bye.